The instruments featured in this Hello My Name Is video series are brought to you by Medline, Koenig, and First. Hello, my name is Mosquito Forcep. In particular, this is a Halstead Great Mosquito Forcep, and we're looking at a five inch model here. Now what's important about your mosquito forceps, these are your little baby forceps. If you're looking at a tray and you're a new technician and you see a small set of forceps, uh, smaller than your cryos, uh, smaller than your Kellys, you're most likely looking at what's called a mosquito forcep. These do come in uh, two primary variations. You got your straight jaw and your curved jaw. So that's kind of your tip off. Now, when I say small forcep, I'm not even particularly talking about the jaws. I'm actually talking about the length of your forcep. You can kind of see that shaft, you know, small shaft. Of course, they do have smaller jaws because it is a smaller instrument overall. But uh, the real kind of tip off again that you're looking at a mosquito right out of the box is that length of the device. It's very common to see these in your standard surgical trays. You'll see the, the straight and curved variations, as I mentioned before. Uh, this model, as you can see, does have the serrations on the jaw there. Anytime that we see serrations again, you're gonna wanna take a special close look real closely into the serrations themselves. Make sure everything's clean up and down those serrations into the working action of your box lock there on both sides inside on the front and the back of your box lock and then of course in this little hinge area here on both sides you're going to want to be looking for debris or any cracks in the actual box lock itself uh, typically if you're going to see cracks it's going to be right here in the middle on either side there Okay. As with all of our ratchet devices, you're gonna wanna take a look at the back here where that ratchet is to make sure that it's locking appropriately, that when it locks, the jaw is also closed on the front end here. You do wanna check for jaw alignment to make sure that it's lining up straight here, that you're not seeing any jaw that's overhanging on the other side. Uh, you wanna kinda look and make sure that you're not seeing any light come through that jaw when it's locked in particular when it's locked up to kind of that second or third ratchet that's where all the pressure is being put on the tip here to make sure that there's no space or anything uh, to test that ratchet of course you got the old table test tap 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 or you can tap on a flat palm like this just to make sure as you get a little bit better at inspecting you'll kind of get a touch that you can actually feel as you're closing a clamp you can almost feel it um, lock but still be a little bit loose in here and that's just going to come with time and training as you get better at inspecting nothing uh, too fancy about these mosquitoes they're a little workhorse of your tray uh, they are small so you do want to be aware uh, the tips can become damaged, and they can become off alignment, as I said. Uh, you're gonna wanna process them open, as with all your devices, in the opened position there, or on a stringer, okay? That is your straight mosquito forcep, and thank you for watching another episode of Hello, My Name Is.